Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to present Hunting and Outdoor Adventures with Keith Warren. Hey everybody, I'm Keith Warren and welcome to Hunting and Outdoor Adventures. This week we come to you from Zimbabwe, Africa, where we're going after Cape Buffalo. So stick around. Hunting and Outdoor Adventures with Keith Warren. Today, Hunting and Outdoor Adventures comes to you from Zimbabwe, Africa, where I'm hunting on the Angua River with professional hunter Tomage Alexander. The river is located about 250 miles north of Harare. I'm after what many consider to be one of the most dangerous animals on the planet, the Cape Buffalo. This is my first time to ever hunt in Africa, and the only Cape Buffalo I'd ever seen were on video or in a book. So obviously I was excited when I saw my first Cape Buffalo up close. We've located a big herd of Cape Buffalo about a thousand yards away. Tomage and his trackers are taking me through the dense cover and we're quickly closing the distance. I'm shooting a model 116 Savage rifle, 458 caliber using a 500 grain Federal Premium solid bullet. Tomage likes to get his clients as close as possible to ensure a perfect shot. For me, I wanted to be within a hundred yards. Look at there's a bunch of them. They're bedded down. They're looking over here. One's getting up, look. There's a mess of them. They're all starting to collie. Look at the size of them. All right, come guys, let's get up here. Let's get up here, come on. The wind was swirling and the buffalo appeared to be nervous. They sensed something wasn't right. What are you trying to do? Uh, Keith, let's get down below here. Hold on. You can run in the middle of the chest. Let's get across here. Thanks for funding. Come here, come here. Just be ready. What? Just be ready. There he is. Okay, come put one on his back. Huh? He's still breathing. Put one on his back. Okay. Else, just hold on. Okay, come, reload. You know, once you pull the trigger once and you got it, that is when the danger really starts because, you know, the adrenaline starts pumping. They get very, very, you know, that's when they get aggressive. If it's still moving, shoot it till it stops moving. Jeez. Talk about an adrenaline rush. Come on. Look at the blood right there. There you go. Magnificent bull. Oh my goodness. Look there at the blood on him. Look at the blood on the ground. Is he dead? Just hold on. Let's be careful. Keith, that is out of a bull. Hold on. Good shot. <laughs> you got him right in the front of the chest there. Maxwell, mate. Peter. Fantastic. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Yeah. Excellent. I'll Good tell you shooting. what, that is the first critter to be taken with this savage rifle that's right excellent. here. And that's probably one of the biggest creatures on the planet. Yeah, and most dangerous. You Look see there, the... he was, the rest of the herd had seen it. You know, the wind changed slightly, 
Recent, he's turned around, he gave us that real buffer look, you know, like I said, like it looks like Yaki owe my own money. Right. <laughs> I mean, he was glaring. You didn't have much time. He would have stared at us for a while, and then he was out of there. The Cape Buffalo was huge, with an estimated body weight of 1,800 pounds. He had tremendous horns, particularly the boss, which is at the base of the horns. The boss on this old bull measured 17 and a half inches per side. It'll place high in the record books. How old do you think he is, Tomish? He, uh, he must be pushing sort of 17, 18 years old. My say. goodness, yeah. and how much will he weigh? 1,800, 2,000 pounds. And look at this, folks, yeah. he's got, I guess it's all what, mud? It's rubbing, it's trees. Rubbing on yeah. trees? Rubbing trees. Oh. It really is an unbelievable Oh thing. my, oh my. Yeah. Oh. Well done, Keith. Well done again. Look at that. that. Good shot. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you.